And speaking of technology, we were talking of how you know, the fate of Intel is, you know, uh, going right now with computation from AMD. And they're making leaps and bounds as well as, you know, other other manufacturers like in the case of Apple, we just discussed earlier that, you know, they're transitioning from relying so much on Intel. They're creating their own chipset, which is the uh, Apple M1 chipset or processor, sorry. So what does this mean for uh, for the company like Intel? Now, the semiconductor giant, which is TSMC or Taiwan Semi Manufacturing Corporation, is now confirming that they're going to produce a 3 nanometer chipset for 2022. So that's a few years away, but it's very, very soon. And what does this mean? A smaller, ten, uh, a smaller CPU, a 3 nanometers, you know, will provide better performance. And I think right now, Intel is still stuck at 14 nanometers. That's why they're getting left behind in terms of performance. So not just Intel. I think AMD right now is in the 7 nanometer. So, you know, we're getting to the point the threshold is, you know, they're making leaps and bounds. So, you know, in, in the semiconductor, if you don't innovate, improve your product significantly, you know, you will get left behind. And according to TSMC, as mentioned, they have confirmed the production of a 3 nanometer. So it's the smallest. So whether this can be used for the for mobile, for laptops, or even for desktop application. And this is going to be tremendous. And they're touting it as a, it has at least two and a half times more dense, compact, compared to the latest 10 nanometer, which is Intel's. So technically what they're stating is the the processing unit is three times faster, more complex. So you have to wait and see, but that's what makes a compelling case, especially if you're a tech junkie that you're looking forward to, you know, see what's in the near future here. So let's see here. Where is it? There you go. Okay. So as mentioned, question here is what happens to Intel now? Well, according to Intel, right now they're still stuck with their latest iteration from the 14 nanometers to just uh, with its new 10 nanometers. Now, how good is that? So let's make a comparison. For the 10 nanometers, they only have 10 million transistors per square millimeter. Now compare that to TSMC's 7 nanometer, which is smaller, but it has more transistors, as much as 113 million per square millimeter meaning it provides better performance. That's why if you were to look at the latest AMD's Ryzen, uh, Ryzen 3 uh, architecture, which provides better performance by far compared to Intel here. And because of the density can be used to either make chips with existing complexity, as mentioned here, making them smaller and therefore a little bit cheaper and enable more complex design. So it's a win-win for the manufacturer as well as for the users. So the question here is even Apple, right? With its new five nanometer chip, which is good for 173 million transistor per square millimeter. And AMD is also cranking out the seven nanometer design. So this is good news. Obviously at the end of the day, this is going to be beneficial for all consumers, especially if you're, you know, into computers, into laptops or desktops, you know, innovation breeds better product. And obviously, Intel, you know, you, you know, you are, you are lagging behind. So either you catch up to them, or you know, worst case scenario here, you know, you will be at the bottom of the market here. And as mentioned, even Samsung. The other big chip manufacturing has already recently announced that they plan to close the gap versus TSMC as mentioned by creating its own 3 nanometer uh, chip or processor by the end of 2022. And obviously, you know, the future leaks looks promising when it comes to PC performance, right? Uh, at, the, at least for the next four or five years. And, you know, I'm always looking forward, right? Obviously, better performance means you can collect more data, analyze more data, use more powerful machines so that they can analyze and, you know, businesses can utilize it, even individuals can use it, not just for business, for research, for many applications like that. 
So we'll, we'll have to wait and see.